At Belimo, we're constantly working on the further development of our HVAC sensor portfolio in the field of water differential pressure sensors. In addition to the well-known and proven 22 WDP, we now offer a brand new sensor with two remote pressure transmitters, the 22 PDP. My name is David Push, a product manager at Belimo, and I'll be showing you a detailed comparison of the two systems. Let's start with the 22 WDP. This is a sensor with a measuring membrane that is pressurized on both sides. This means that we hydronically connect the sensor to our system on both sides, on the positive side and on the negative side. What is needed for the installation? In addition to the sensor, we offer a wall mounting bracket and suitable quick release screw fittings as optional accessories. In addition to the accessories, we need a 6 mm copper pipe, screwdriver, open and spanner, pipe bending pliers, pipe cutter, ceiling thread, and cordless screwdriver or drill for fastening the wall mounting bracket. To show you how to install our differential pressure sensors, we have prepared a demo wall here. This consists of a supply and a return or a pipe with expected higher pressure and a pipe with lower pressure. We have already fitted matching T-pieces here with a quarter-inch internal thread. One thing to note here is the orientation of the WDP, marked by the plus and the minus symbols. The plus should point to the supply, or the line with the higher pressure, the minus to the line with the lower pressure. It should also be noted that the WDP is either at the same height as the T-pieces or below them to facilitate venting of the system. The next step in assembly is to seal and mount the cutting ring fittings. We have to do this four times, twice on the on-site T pieces and twice on our WDP sensor. The next step is to measure the impulse line, cut it to the appropriate length, bend it and make sure it fits. For this, we will need the pipe cutter and the bending pliers. Since this takes a relatively long time, we have already prepared this. We recommend laying at least one loop when making the impulse line. This loop is intended to mechanically decouple the sensor from system vibrations and the longer path serves to dampen hydronic pressure surges and thereby preserve the service life of the sensor. I have now fitted both impulse lines, tightened the union nut so that the cutting rings seal, which completes the mechanical hydronic installation. We can now move to the electrical side. The connector plug is used for the connection. We first remove the plug and then route the cables to the plug accordingly. This completes the installation of our 22 WDP. We can now switch on the power supply and fill and commission the system. We cannot yet detect if the sensor is in the correct mode of operation. I can generally only check this on the controller or the corresponding control unit. Now let's move on to our new 22 PDP, Differential Pressure Sensor. This sensor is a differential pressure sensor with remote pressure transmitters, each connected to the sensor housing with a 3-meter cable. The sensor is delivered completely ready for installation, so you do not need any additional accessories. The sensor itself and the pressure transmitters are included. The wall mounting plate is included and screws for the wall mounting plate. The only tools you need are a small screwdriver, an open-ended spanner size 22, sealing tape and a cordless screwdriver or drill for mounting the sensor on the wall. Now let's move on to the installation of our 22 PDP. We have again prepared two T-pieces here with quarter-inch internal thread. And here we have the removable wall mounting plate of our PDP. This can be used as a drilling template and we now have much more flexibility in positioning the PDP than we had with the WDP. The PDP does not have to be mounted at the same height as the T-pieces. We can position it freely and easily. When the wall mounting plate is fixed to the wall, the sensor housing can be clipped in very easily. Then we take the pressure transmitters and disconnect them from the sensor cable. The pressure transmitters are marked high or low, indicated by this cross. We now remove the protective cap, seal the thread with sealing thread, and screw this into the fitting.
Nachdem wir nun beide Drucktransmitter Now that we have mounted both pressure transmitters in the supply and return, we reconnect them to the sensor. Dabei ist zu beachten, dass ich auch Note that there are also markings with high or low on the cables, which must be reassigned accordingly. Welche entsprechend wieder zugeordnet werden müssen. In other words, the cable marked high is connected to the supply. Plug it into the pressure transmitter marked high and tighten the lock nut. Aufstecken. And the connecting cable with the low marking goes to the return, to the corresponding pressure transmitter with the low marking. Drucktransmitter mit der low Kennzeichen. Die Drucktransmitter the pressure transmitters are now connected to the sensor. In the next step, we will turn to the electrical installation and connect the sensor to the power supply. To do so, we first open the sensor housing and remove the cover, and then insert our connecting cable into the sensor housing. The individual cables can easily be inserted into the spring-loaded terminals with a small screwdriver. Then we tighten the strain relief and our sensor is connected. The 22 PDP has switchable output terminals. This means that before we commission the sensor, before we switch on the power supply, we have to define if we want a 0 to 10 volts or 0 to 5 volts voltage signal at the output or a 4 to 20 milliamps current signal. In this case, we want to use the 22 PDP with a 4 to 20 milliamps power output and move the slide switch to the milliamps position. This completes the installation of our 22 PDP and we can switch on the power supply. When the power supply is switched on, the sensor goes through a startup sequence and then displays the current differential pressure. You can now use the menu to make various settings, such as limiting the measuring range. And you can also perform a zero point adjustment by pressing the zero up button for three seconds. This completes the commissioning of the 22 PDP. We can close the sensor housing and fill, vent and commission our system und in Betrieb nehmen. So, wir haben nun We have now installed and commissioned both differential pressure sensors. Once again, you see the 22 WDP, a solid, robust differential pressure sensor with a measuring diaphragm. This means it needs a hydronic connection to both strands. The WDP is available with different pressure ranges, as well as with voltage output, 0 to 10 volts, or with a 4 to 20 milliamp power output. When ordering, you have to decide on a type, so I cannot make any subsequent adjustment to the pressure range or the output here. 22 PDP offers a lot of flexibility. Thanks to its remote pressure transmitters, I can position the sensor housing freely, even in difficult installation situations. The installation itself is greatly simplified. I can adjust the sensor with regard to its output signal and its measuring range. In addition, the display provides me with direct feedback. I can directly read the measured values of the sensor. Do you have questions about our water differential pressure sensors or other products? Then simply take a look at our website or contact your local Belimo representative.